Chowni is a solo exhibition by contemporary artist Edozie Anedu, who has revealed his latest collection at the Paces Gallery in the commercial city of Lagos. Diverse materials and design principles interplay in Paces Gallery, Lagos, as the audience enjoy the private opening of Tony, an exhibition of the latest images done by painter Edoze Anedu. I've chosen this title because of my connection to it and how it also resonates with uh, pop culture and you know what we know as memes. So. Uh, Tony is like a representation of uh, a dream and a person that I was, you know, trying to be at a certain time, you know. And over time, time over time, I try to be someone, try to be someone, and I keep learning from that. And every time I try to be something, I, you know, I, 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 I end up becoming something, and I learn from, you know, that. And all these changes they metamorphose and. You know, now I, it's like a compilation of all these changes and how I've been able to, you know, adopt and grow from all the lessons. This consummate painter's spirited color palette captures intriguing subjects. In the past few years, um, there's been this um, ravenous focus on portrait artists, especially from West Africa. And um, Edozier is not like all the other um, portrait artists that you see. Um, his range is quite vast. Um, he works with collage, he works with oil and acrylic, and he, as well as fabrics. Um, and he has quite an aggressive um, approach to his painting and uh, almost a mathematical approach to color and how he uses color. And I find that very um, exciting and um, encouraging. And we just want to continue working with him and helping his career and um, yeah, we're very excited for his future. In, in my uh, work, I apply colors a lot. I, my technique, I make, I make use of different colors and different uh, texture and brush strokes. So yeah, uh, in, 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 in accomplishing a painting, in making a painting, I, I just like ap apply these things and let them work naturally, like use their, um, try to use different mediums to you know, convey all this, uh, to convey a message, like to create a whole, uh, it's like, it's like uh, uh, making a song. And it takes time to explain what has inspired these creations in oil, acrylic and pastel, which birthed this solo exhibition. Painting is like, uh, it's almost like a course, like it's something I, I can't help, I always want to do, like, so, First of all, that it comes from that point, like, and then I'm really moved by the fact that, you know, I want to say something, and so I just, like, want to say something through painting, and it's really like trying to voice out your opinion on something. Um, I'm inspired by music. I'm, I'm actually inspired by humanity and how, you know, thriving and happy times and, uh, you know, the whole idea of like a, a, a better world, like, you know, I, I want to make painting that feel like a, like a good place. These paintings are very childlike and I like the freedom, like the freedom in that because I know that it's, as an adult, it's not, <laughs> it may be quite difficult to like express yourself fully and he does it so well. Curating exhibitions post-COVID has taught many galleries to seize the day and make every moment count. It's been a very exciting time, actually. Um, a lot of artists are really coming into their own. A lot of international eyes are looking at Nigeria and what it's producing. And um, the, the, ge the generation coming up, they're using the internet and all forms of technology to connect with the, with the um, international market and the globe. So it's been a very exciting time to work in the arts. So topics like popular culture, social issues and personal experiences have made it to Edozia Nedu's canvas in its expressive brush strokes.